an Iron Age silver-studded sword. Once held aloft by Homeric heroes, swords such as these were still crafted and used hundreds of years later by ancient Cypriot rulers buried in richly furnished tombs. A key object in the Fitzwilliams Antiquities collection is this example, the Tamasos sword, dating from the 6th century BCE. After resting in the ground for over 2,400 years, this artefact is helping scientists and conservators from the University of Cambridge's Fitzwilliam Museum discover how these legendary swords were made. Scientific imaging and analysis have allowed the sword's internal structure, as well as components of its decoration, to be understood for the first time. First, a bar of imported iron was forged and shaped into the distinctive leaf-like blade with raised central rib, notched ledge, and flanged hilt. The hilt was then decorated. Thin strips of precious metal foils were applied to its edges, one layer of tin beneath two layers of silver. These foils were crimped into place. Silver-headed bronze rivets were then used to affix plates of carved ivory to both sides of the hilt. Due to extensive loss and decay, the shape and decoration of the ivory plates are somewhat theoretical, as are the fishtail shape of the iron and globular pommel at the end of the hilt. Fragments of mineralized wood and possibly leather embedded in the blade suggest the sword was placed inside a scabbard at the time of burial. Cutting-edge research on the Tamasos sword has shed new light on the materials and technologies used by ancient craftspeople and provided insight into the relationships between people and communities who lived on the Mediterranean islands. The sword is on display at the Fitzwilliam Museum until June the 4th, 2023, as part of Islanders, the making of the Mediterranean, and afterwards in the Cypriot Gallery.